page. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. This girl is thick. Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. I don't know what that was, but anyways, let's continue. <laughs> So for today's video, I am back with another pick or pass. If you have never watched any of my pick or pass videos, I have a whole playlist on them, but it's basically going to be a first impression. And at the end, I'm going to let you know if the product that we're talking about is a pick and you need it, or if it's a pass and you need to run. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be talking about the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Foundation. I'm really excited to put it to the test as somebody with oily combination skin, freckles, breakouts, and all the other things that I have going on on my skin right now. So if you want to see, then of course, please keep watching. Okay, so if you've watched my first impression review videos before, then you already know the deal. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the claims on the foundation, the price, color that I got, and all that good stuff so that we know what we're getting ourselves into. So actually, I got really lucky because I picked this up at my local Target. They actually had a whole new little stand dedicated to this product and they had like all the little bells and whistles that said that it was new and I was like okay I need this I'm here just looking on elf's website it says this is a medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with SPF 30 protection whenever a foundation comes with SPF it's like a win-win situation so I'm all for it um if you do not know what a CC cream is for it's actually color correcting which means this kind of foundation is meant to correct the tones in your skin tone and CC creams tend to be kind of more of like skincare you know what I mean than just a regular foundation so back to elf's website go ahead and give the bullet points and the claims of this foundation it says it's a medium to full coverage foundation with a natural finish formulated with SPF 30 to protect against sun damage multitasking foundation that provides skincare benefits so <clears throat> hello excuse me what was that what was that not today rona oh my god was i out of focus the whole time sorry you guys if you see me looking to the side it's because i'm looking at my viewfinder i have a lens that seems to be really tricky and it likes to go out of focus a lot it doesn't say anything here about how long it's supposed to last which when foundations don't do that they're like low-key trying to be slick because they don't want to give you any claims that you're going to be able to come back to them for product is 14 dollars which i honestly saw this price and i was like oh, elf what are you doing sis <laughs> because elf is like our sexy sister friend from the drugstore reasonably priced usually things don't really go up to like ten dollars except some of their palettes but like they're justified because some of those palettes that are over fifteen dollars are huge so for this to be fourteen dollars just six dollars short of twenty dollars to me that's very steep for elf so i'm wondering what they're trying to do with this i have high hopes for this especially for the price tag that it has i got the shade medium 330w the reason i got this one is because it really called my attention it, it says it's warm with olive undertones i do have olive undertones and i am a warm complexion so i'm like okay um this seems like my best match this foundation does have 20 different shades and i like the fact that they're separated between undertones it seems like they did a pretty good job or a pretty decent job at trying to target different undertones which is really important they have a cool neutral and warm and depending on what number that you are within the cool neutral warm series you'll be able to know within the actual shade that you get so see since mine is 330w the w stands for warm it is in all of her glory i like the little metallic reflective signage it's very cute we get 1.5 ounces of product which i forgot to mention packaging is nice i'm all for pumps especially for foundation cc creams anything like that that is going to be something that I need to apply with a beauty blender or a brush. I really appreciate when it has a pump because it makes my life easier. So I'm using this with the e.l.f. sponge today. I just kind of have come to the conclusion that when it comes to face products and when it comes to foundations, I like sponges, okay? I like sponges. I've just come to that conclusion. I know that they say they recommend that you use it with a brush, but I just love sponges. It does say that it is full coverage and I'm very interested to test that theory out because I have freckles. And as you guys can see, I also have some areas of my skin that need attention. So it says it's full coverage. Do you have oily combo skin? And I'm really interested to see how this holds up. Ooh, hello. Girl, you thick. Oh my god, this almost is this too yellow? Hmm. Guys. Oh, what is happening? Oh my god. This girl is thick. Oh my god, guys! Um, this is honest. Like, I I haven't seen anybody's videos talking about this product. I haven't seen anybody's first impression. I try not to watch people because 
as much as you don't want it to, it does influence you as a content creator to watch somebody else's opinions on a product before you film yours. I like to have a very organic and like a true first impression where I really have no idea what people are saying about it. So freaking shook. I have to make sure that I get my ears because sometimes my ears be looking like red or pink and then my foundation is like yellow <laughs> and then I look a hot mess. I know we've all done that, so don't sit here and play me and act like you've never been a victim of the pink ear and the yellow face. Or even better, the yellow face and the friggin' unblended neck. I know we have all been a victim to that. Wow, okay, so here we have our side-by-side. -side. Okay, so just on this first impression on this side, this thing instantly covered up that pimple that I had right here. I mean, you can still see the texture, but that's with any pimple or any breakout. You're always going to be able to see the texture. But it was a bright pink pimple, okay? But this foundation really covered it up. It did not completely cover all of my freckles, but I'm not trying to do that. So that's okay with me. I'm assuming that if I was to go in with a second layer of this foundation, it would completely cover all my freckles. But that's not my objective, and that's not what I'm going to do because I actually like when my freckles show through. So I am not going to be doing that. I'm going to skip concealer because I don't want the concealer to influence my thoughts on this foundation. And I'm just going to do a tiny little bit right under my eyes just to give me a little bit more coverage under my eyes and kind of act as a concealer all right guys so this is what my skin is looking like overall i am a woman with freckles i'm a woman with breakouts i'm a woman with mild rosacea on my face like i have a lot of these different variables on my face that come into play that people with just general you know good clear skin might not have so i feel like for that reason I feel like it's full coverage um so I can definitely stand by that at this current moment I do feel like it does have a very subtle glow which I don't know how that's gonna go with my oily combination skin because I do have an oily t-zone at 1 54 p.m. I'm hoping to have this on for a good amount of hours today I'll come back to just let you guys know how it fully settled once it's fully dry so it has been about 15 minutes since I have last seen you guys foundation is now fully settled and I'm very happy to say that it has pretty much remained the same if it looks any darker it's because I am wearing a little bit of bronzer on the outside of my face but the foundation itself didn't really oxidize I didn't really notice a difference in color I didn't really notice it do anything crazy I do feel like it is very comfortable I wouldn't say it's the most breathable foundation but it's not overly heavy if that makes any sense so it's kind of in between it's not overly heavy but it's not like the most lightweight foundation ever either you know what I mean it really gave my skin a very natural finish just as it claimed and overall no complaints at the moment I'm pretty happy with it so I'm gonna stay with it run with it and see how it goes for the rest of the day i will update you guys in a couple of hours once i'm outside i do have a couple of errands to run today so i should be able to get you guys an update in natural daylight so as for this moment thumbs up it seems to be a hit i so, am back so i just decided to just pop out of the car real quick to give you guys a natural daylight update actually I'm kind of losing light at this point. This is a three hour update because it is now 4.45 p.m. I would show you the time, but I'm recording on my phone. So I think everything looks pretty good for the most part, still three hours in. The only thing that I've noticed is I have some foundation kind of really getting bunched up in the crevices of my nose right here. I don't know. I think you can see it there a little bit better, but yeah you can see the foundation kind of really collecting in these areas next to my nose it almost looks like dry patches which is weird because my nose area is where i usually get like the most oily so it's weird to see this overall i feel like it is still looking pretty good everything looks good it still has a pretty natural finish i still feel pretty comfortable yeah so far so good so i'm gonna keep you guys updated i'm gonna keep this on for another couple hours and then i'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts hey you guys i am back it is now the end of what feels like was a really long day so it is now 9 58 p.m it is just about to be 10 o'clock at night with that being said i've had this foundation on for just over eight hours. Listen, when my ponytail came off, that means I'm ready for bed. I do have some opinions. I have some opinions here that I wanna share with you guys. The first bullet point was that it is medium to full coverage foundation with a natural finish. I 100% agree with it being a medium to full coverage. I'm even going to go ahead and say this is a full coverage foundation because of the fact that I have freckles and I have pimples and I have some mild rosacea on my face and this foundation seemed to cover everything up with just two pumps which is incredible. I'm so surprised to see that this does have such a really kind of indestructible almost and full coverage 
finish it is formulated with SPF 30 to protect against sun damage I mean that's not really something that I can see but I can definitely appreciate the fact that it does have the SPF and it says that it has a shade match guarantee that allows you to buy with confidence I do think that this shade really stayed very consistent throughout the whole entire day which is really nice it didn't really oxidize it didn't get paler it didn't get lighter it just really kind of stayed true to its shade but just from a viewfinder I definitely feel like I look pretty even my face and the rest of my body look like they match so I'm pretty happy with the shade that I have so just from my personal experience of wearing the foundation all day I think it is really great I think it does feel very comfortable for it to have the coverage that it has usually a foundation of this kind of coverage would feel a little bit more heavy a little bit more cakey and I'm really surprised that it doesn't really love the fact that it stayed on as long as it did and it really didn't move and it didn't budge and when I tell you guys I did a lot of things today that would that would kind of make my foundation shift in different ways I ate so many different times I snacked a lot um, I went out and I did a photo shoot today for Instagram my daughter and I had a movie night tonight and I kind of was laying on a pillow and kind of forgetting that I even had a first impression in progress. You guys, when I tell you I did things today that I really would expect this foundation to look completely different right now, I put this bad boy to the test today. Earlier in my update this afternoon, I had showed you guys that I had these little dry patches on the crevice of my nose on, the, on these little corners here. And I feel like they've kind of gotten worse. However, feel like this area... Like the foundation kind of just settled and it's at this point kind of just sitting on top of my skin. It's not seeping in. It's not becoming one with my skin. It's just sitting on top of my skin. But I find that to be a little strange, especially because this is where I'm kind of most oily. But I will say that that's nothing a good primer shouldn't be able to fix. So the next time that I wear this foundation, I'm definitely going to take that into consideration and really make sure that I'm wearing the right primer. Honestly, for me to not have any primer today, I'm so impressed. I'm definitely going to go ahead and give this a check for oily girl approved because I'm oily combo you guys and I cannot believe how well this foundation has held up Yeah, you definitely see some shininess and some oils kind of peeking through in this little general area of my face But I don't look super greasy and that's incredible I mean like I said I did a lot of things today and I'm not that oily so I'm really impressed about that But yeah, you guys overall this is a really good foundation and I think elf definitely did something here with this one So I'm gonna say that if you have oily combination skin You should definitely try this foundation out if you have oily skin don't be afraid you should definitely try it out but if you have dry skin I think you should definitely proceed with caution with with this kind of foundation because if I'm having dry patches here as an oily combo person I don't really know what it's going to do with somebody of dry skin unless you use a really hydrating primer you really make sure your skin is super hydrated before you go in with this foundation even though it is $14 and it's a little bit a little bit up there for the drugstore I still think it's worth it for its quality its longevity and the way that it looks and feels honestly I think it's definitely worth the $14 I'm gonna wrap up this video here because I am dying to take my makeup off and call it a night and watch some Bridgerton I, are you guys watching that show let me know in the comments if you like Bridgerton I don't know if I like it or I hate it I'm still like in that point I'm not fully hooked but like I'm kind of invested in their love story so I kind of just want to keep watching to see how it ends but I just started it so I don't know let me know if you guys like the show anyways I went from like a whole foundation review to like Netflix shows okay I, I'm taking a, I'm taking a really weird left turn, so I'm going to call it here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And hit that subscribe for more videos. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.